able to have an in-house courier to transport your goods from your from your warehouse, maybe let's say in Gauteng, across the country. Yeah, sorry, Mohammed, I missed that question. Can you just try again? I just want to uh, ask a question quickly regarding the last slide you just heard now. Uh, yeah. For instance, let's say, for instance, you've got the warehouse in Gauteng and you've got your different, uh, if, and if you have an in-house courier that transports your, your goods across the country, would it, they would, wouldn't that also be advisable then? Yeah, that, that, that's a good question. Um, but you'll need, once again, you'll need a lot of data before you can make a decision. So, you know, you cannot base a decision on just one aspect of the business. Uh, okay. So you, you'll have to look at different things, you know. Uh, you know, everything started off with service levels. So you need to yes. ask yourself the first question, what, what service level are you trying to achieve, you know, by going this courier route, you know? Yeah. Uh, so then you need to ask yourself, you know, um, the service level agreement that you reach with this specific courier, you know, uh, how manageable is it? So, you know, can you hold him accountable uh, financially for yeah. misses, misses, you know, if he fails to deliver to a certain lo location within the country, you know, are you able to recover the cost of lost deliveries? So you'll have to really gather, you know, you a lot of data before you can come up with an answer. Okay, All right. Um, the reason why I say this, you'll see a lot of a lot of decisions sometimes is made on a single or a few points of data, and then the company realizes. And and I'll be honest with you, I mean, you know, many companies have made decisions, and I'm sure you also experience it. That they'll actually go back, they'll go back and uh, reverse that decision because they did not have too much of data. Um, to make the decision, they may have this made yeah. it, you know, on on hindsight, because they okay. wanted a quick tip win. So my my advice to you: get information as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, sir. No, you're welcome. Any other questions, guys, pertaining to this specific um, slide? Because uh, you'll notice we've been talking a lot on trade-offs, trade-offs, trade-offs. Uh, anyone want to share whether you've experienced making a trade-off decision in your line of work? You know, it doesn't have to be in the warehouse. It can be in any operation. Has anybody made a trade-off decision? I'd like to hear. Okay, I see Nozipo's question is, is in regards to trade-offs. <clears throat> she wants to know whether there's a possibility of keeping the cost at theoretical optimum scale. Um, that's a very good question, Nozipo. I think um, I think there's, there's uh, in as much as I would say, I would like to say, yes, you can keep it. You know, you, you can... Uh, implement efficiency um, campaigns. You can look at cost reductions. But at the same time, I would like to say that it becomes rather difficult to maintain it at that level. You know, it's like saying, listen, the rand to the dollar is 19 rand today, uh, but there are so many variables that can move that uh, 19 rand to 20 rand within the next couple of hours, you know? So it, it, it becomes extremely difficult to maintain the cost at that theoretical uh, level. In as much as we'd love to, and we'd look at different ways of doing it, uh, but, but it's rather difficult. Because remember now, remember once you've reached that level, now things start happening at this level. So for example, uh, yes, you're trying... Because what makes up the total cost here? The total cost is a combination of your warehouse cost and your transport cost. Okay, no zippo. So yes, your transport cost is coming down. 
because you've got that uh, facility there in uh, uh, Polokwane, uh, but your warehouse cost has gone up because you need to man uh, maintain that Polokwane warehouse. So there's it, it's impossible to keep that warehouse cost down all the time because you know the cost of diesel um your transport is going to come to you very soon and say listen i need to um give you a price increase for delivering um oh sorry because um let me get back to that we know that now you've got this warehouse here yes you may not be delivering um every day because your customer is close to your polokwani warehouse but still, that delivery, whether it's 10 kilometers or whatever, the price of diesel, an increase in the price of diesel will spike that transport cost. The transport cost might go up a little, maybe not as much, but it might go a little. Your warehouse cost might go increase as well because to manage a warehouse, it costs money. You know, we know that you need to give your warehouse people um, wage increases, salary increases. So... To answer your question, it becomes extremely difficult to keep this. That's why they call it a theoretical level. It's going to go up. It's definitely going to go up. Does that answer your question, Azipo? Uh, yes, it does. Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> Is there one more, guys? I'll take one more question. Okay, there's no more questions. So I think uh, now close on to this after 25 past. So guys, ladies, gentlemen, just in terms of uh, next week, next week we will continue with technology. So for those of you that may have not been through the robotics videos that were sent by the Academy, I strongly encourage you uh, try and go through it. It's awesome videos. <clears throat> it keeps you at the forefront of what's technology, how technology is disrupting warehouses in a good way. Um, you know, it'll give you a good understanding of how your product is managed within the Amazon supply chain. So I strongly encourage you to watch this. And then next week we'll continue with technology and uh, We'll also cover cost management, which is a critical part of business. Uh, so tomorrow and next week, put on your finance ads and we will show you ways in which you can save your company money in terms of better cost management. Okay. All right. So that will be a hit for today and we'll continue again next week.